I've got an enemy and my enemy's name is distraction. And who doesn't get distracted every single minute of our day with the technology around us, with all the notifications we get on our phone and our emails. So how do you retrain your brain to be focused? And I found in working with organisations and individuals that this is one of the biggest challenges that we all face. We all have to relearn how to be able to focus. As soon as we pick up our phones first thing in the morning, we start to see all this data. There's images, there's words, and it's using up our mental energy. So being able to create new disciplines so that we can navigate every day and draw on as much energy as we can mentally is an important key. The other thing is if you've written down what your goals are, you're not going to allow the distractions to take you off your path. It's really easy for something to come in and cut you off on the path that you're on. This happened to me the other day. Somebody messaged me, a very uh, somebody I'm close to, and they had an idea. And I was right in the middle of, of a project that was really important to me. And I really had to put it aside, even though I did stop and read the message, I had to put it aside and go, no, that's actually not on the trajectory and the track that I'm on. So I'm not going to get blindsided by other people's agendas and whose agendas are you getting sidetracked or distracted by people marketing to you people who have their own agendas and their own goals how are you going to stay stay focused on your goal and one of the disciplines that I've had to learn and been working with over the last two years is to be able to when I wake up in the morning not pick up my phone the first thing I'm doing is going and going well I'm going to the gym or I'm going to get up and make a cup of tea and have some downtime. And so by nine o'clock, I'm not mentally tired because I haven't been looking at my phone. How can you reclaim your mornings and how can you reclaim your focus? And it's almost like we're going against the tide when we do this because everybody is in this mode of constantly looking at technology. So to force yourself to take some time out and force yourself to give your brain some downtime is a really important tool. So what's distracting you and what do you need to focus on and what different routine can you start to put in place and practice and learn the habit of to limit the time that you are on your phone or on your emails and allow your brain to get out of that beta mode where it's just constantly thinking about activities or problems or information and slow it right down and get into that space where you're starting to access uh, ideas and creativity and feel energized and inspired.